Everybody, welcome back. An embarrassing fall ball loss. Where, I, I'll be honest. I hanged two of those goals on myself. I, I missed a couple of shots I shouldn't have missed. Missed a couple of uh, saves, I guess, I shouldn't have missed. Also, a little, a little, a little bit of, still a little frustration. Just a teeny bit of frustration when the ball is coming at your teammate and they knock it back towards the goal instead of sending it in the opposite direction. I feel like I feel like I don't need to draw you a free body diagram. F equals M A. If you apply force to something in the direction that you want that something to go, um, it has an influence in relatively, because it might not, it depends on the value of the force of the magnitude of the force that you're applying. It will at least slow it down, if not completely reverse it and send it at least a, as a summation of the two vectors that are involved. But, you know, we don't really have time for that kind of rigmarole today. Let's just uh, get a Dublinsky and Whirly gig and move on with our lives. It's my favorite obstacle course, Whirly Gig. Third in Whirly Gig, third row, means top 10 finish guaranteed. I, I promise you this. First off, five people didn't even plug in their controller before the game started. Everybody else will go to Yeet City, myself included. Sometimes it doesn't work. We accept that. We like that they, you know, they took out the trash on that. Very useful, because otherwise they'll end up bumping into you. You take a little jump there, and then you don't get greedy. You, you wait your turn. Those guys get swept away like Madonna in a Guy Ritchie picture. And look at this. All of a sudden, we're running with the Bulls in Pamplona, looking at a, I would say, a top 10 finish. The boxers are getting greedy, so you know what? We, we don't worry about the boxers right now. We, uh, we get in front of them with merit where it counts. They're cowards anyway, as you can see. I, I felt like I screwed that up, but look at this. Here we are going down. We will not be first, but we will definitely be top five. You know what? We'll definitely be top ten, because I'm not willing to be the greed you don't want to see in this world. We will be fifth place. We will be fourth place. <laughs> That's a good... I, I love Whirly Gig. I still, like... It, it Honestly, the skill distribution in the average Fall Guys lobby a month and a half after release, it honestly must be a lot of very good players. I'm trying to because I'm mirrored here. A lot of very good players. Top 90th percentile. A lot of pretty trash players. And then in the middle, I feel like there's nobody. Because <laughs> I'm like, that's the only way I can reconcile that Hexagon has gotten harder and Whirly Gig has only gotten easier. I'm telling, like, I, any other game, if you hit a, a doorstop in DoorDash, you might as well throw your computer into the dishwasher and turn it on the spin cycle, which is not something that dishwashers do, for the record, unless you've been washing your dishes in your Maytag washing machine, in which case, what are you eating on? Because they should, should be smashed, <laughs> pulverized, but very fresh smelling. Um, regardless of this inanity, what was I talking about? Oh, in Whirly, there'd be times I'd be playing Whirly Gig on the couch. Um, cause I, you know, Kate's got a laptop, so I hooked up my Steam account on it. And I'll get like a hit by, uh, one of the Whirly Gigs, and it'll send me back to the start in case like, oh no, and I'm like, oh, you don't have to worry. And then you qualify like 12th of 40. I still, I, I, it boggles my mind. I do not understand, I, I don't have many plausible explanations for why Whirly Gig is still so easy so here we're looking for this is this is our greed moment i'm so sorry <laughs> i told you i had to wait a video for it to happen but i told you if you get on those the the catch is if somebody grabs you back you're both going over and i would say about 75 percent of the situations oh god he lived that's gonna come that's a mcduff situation right there Like, this is, this is the Cowards League. Big Chungus is the Cowards League. This is, like, Normal League. This is 100cc. Then the Little Chungus, that's, that's 150cc. That's, that's where I like to do my, my best work. Oh, oh, you had him, we had, that's all right. You know what? We, we eliminated one. Let's focus on our own survival. We don't need to, I, I feel like... 
There's like, you ever play that game at the carnival where you roll a bowling ball and there's like two humps and you try to get it in the first hump, but if it undershoots and comes back, you lose. If it overshoots and goes into the second hump, you lose. So you gotta do just, just enough force to get it to nestle in this like little hump. And then you win uh, four tickets and a hundred tickets gets you a dollar off a small coffee at Tim Hortons. Um, that's where I feel like you want to be with the greed. No greed puts you at a small disadvantage, especially in games like Seesaw. Too much greed, you're going off in Jump Showdown, Jump Club, Roll Out, Block Party, etc, etc. Tiptoe oftentimes as well. Um, you want to be right in the, the greed hump. We will not be going that way, but that's okay. Okay, they're they're making they're making mogul moves over there. Get ready. We want to we want to be up there. Thirteen. We we should be good. We should be good. That was like a straight shot. <laughs> As one of the one of the strangest tiptoes I've ever seen. But we're lucky to be uh, in the row where it happens. The row where it happens. The row where it happens. Okay, thirteen. They, in theory, they could give us a 13-person fruit shoot. Yeah, I've seen 13-person tail tags. It'll make you tear what little hair you got out, but... Um... <laughs> well, hear me out here. 13 people remain. If they eliminate 7 or 5, we could play a very small population uh, fall ball, although I would say the odds of that are low. I, I, now, I don't even want to say this because comedic timing is going to get me, but honestly, my, my tail tag win rate has gone, or success rate has gone way up lately. Um, what's my strat? I don't know. Grab. Grabbing seems to work pretty well. Um, running also is, I, I got to be honest with you, I think it's kind of like is old meta, but uh, the center has been very good to me. The center has been very good to me. But it, it's like late game. Hello. The late game center is, is where it's at. He's gonna run. He's not gonna run. You are a genius and I am a fool. So like with 10 seconds left, get in the center and most people will be like, oh, I'm not gonna give it a try. And if they do give it a try, usually they don't make it in on the first pass. <laughs> oh no, we had two tails in here. Bro, boxer, why? You you were the chosen one. We got a little bunny hop there. I'm stoked. We're in, ladies and gentlemen. We're in. 19 seconds remain. Some people will go for it. I wouldn't get your hopes up yet. We're out. Send me. Get your hopes up. Get your hopes up. <laughs> I hate tail tag, dude. I hate it. Every second of it weighs on me. Cortisol. Cortisol. Pancreas is looking like a, like an old balloon. 3v3 fall ball, baby. No. Honestly, I have a hot take for you. It's not hot take Thursday, but I got a hot take for you. You ready? I think the best Fall Guys game for the final is Hexagon. Second, that's that's not the hot take. This is the hot take. Second best finale is Royal Fumble. Fall Mountain, too short. Jump Showdown almost always ends with somebody's jump input getting eaten. Or Jelly Legs, both very frustrating. I know that Jump Showdown is probably the consensus number two. I disagree. I on And I recognize the problems with Royal Fumble. I've, and part of the thing for me is that my success rate is higher on Royal Fumble. Um, oh no. This is a weird one. Maybe that, maybe that works in our favor. If we're, if we're gone, I'm gone. We're not gone. He's gone. Okay, you gotta, you gotta get ready. We're probably gonna be fine if this starts to shake. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'd rather be on the low population side, but, you know, there you go. Okay, so this is where this uh, game goes, kind of starts to suck, in my opinion. Um, 
But again, I'm not too mad. Just to just to be in the finals is pleasant. Although I do wish there was a low pop hexagon at like a higher weight. I just wish that there was more hexagon in general. It's not really like a fair criticism. Um, I've I've started to get very good, at least in my head, about not standing on the seams. I don't get greedy until it's late. I still usually lose pretty badly. I don't like this one. I think we want to be back here. This is, see the freaking jelly legs, dude. Like now I'm like, you know what? I want to be back here. Because you guys are jerks. You won't give me my space. And I want my board. I want my board. You gotta just be very careful with the seam. The seam is your enemy. I know we gotta run over the seam from time to time. It scares me too. I mean, we don't have to, but I do. This wolf is gonna be the next one out. He's living life on top of the seam, like there's no tomorrow. That's not, that's not the way the game is played. Not anymore. Jelly leg is gonna get him one of these days. This is my, uh, see, what did I tell you? This is my other problem with Jump Showdown. It lasts for 250 years now. It's just me and one more guy. So you know what I'm thinking. You know why I'm here. Grab him. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't... We, we played our game and we got it done. Okay, let's go. That feels good. We waited until the final two. Got in his kitchen. Stirring up the mac and cheese. Stirring up the mac and cheese and taking a big bite. With some Dijon ketchup on top. Okay. There you go. It's, it's been a while since we had an on-camera dub. It came in probably the least likely final for us. That's our 29th crown. What do you got in the store? I'm saving up. I'm waiting for some 50 crown stuff. I do like these. Grizzu! Purchase the Grizz! But you know, I don't mind purchasing some, some skins here. Banana water. Woolly Mammoth. I mean, we do have 161,000 uh, kudos. <laughs> Probably makes sense to purchase everything that costs kudos. Circus Tent. Um, excuse me. I equipped- I equipped this? I did not mean to- Come on. What do I look like? What is legs? <laughs> Why? Well, I mean- Okay, you know what I mean. So we want, we're going for the sunburn tourist look. It's like the opposite. It's like you wore sleeves but no shirt. That's kind of like, it could, this could be sunburned Homer Simpson. Egg is pretty good too. I do like egg. Let's say sunburned Homer Simpson. So we want maybe a yellow bottom. I gotta be honest, this looks pretty cool. And then what, what about a, n a null? Upper. I don't know. I gotta tell you something about this is tickling my fancy right now. I do like the egg hat though, so I can be spotted. Yeah, let's. I mean, I, this is just weird, but I'm I'm down with it. <laughs> can we acquiesce a skin change? Absolutely. Oh, that feels good. Got a little. Got the rust off of Jump Showdown. Oh, baby. All right. See, I already know. Like, we're not going to win every hexagon. But every time I go into hexagon, I think I got a shot. Every time I go into Fall Mountain, I think I got a shot until I get hit by a ball that hits me into a ball that hits me into a whirly gig that gets stuck, that gets hit by a ball that hits me backwards into a hammer. Um, and then I don't press grab on the crown. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with another controversial take. My hex win rate is my highest win rate in the finals. I think Royal Fumble is less than 10% away. Part of that is because... Royal Fumble, by necessity, has less people. Um, so, of course, our win rate would be proportionally higher. Once you balance for that, I still think... Basically, what I'm saying is I think I'm better at Royal Fumble than any final except Hexagon. If you say it like that, it's not controversial. Boys, we, got, we, we, we all got plenty of space here, okay? We're all going to be able to get through. Of course, you know, it, in reality... That can't mathematically be the case, but I just don't see why we're fighting over scraps when it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. 
Thank you. We're still gonna be fine, but I was a little annoyed. <laughs> Yoink. I'm telling you, 99% of the problems you face in the early rounds in Fall Guys are people that are way too protective over finishing 31st. We all know people like this in real life. You know, they're a middle manager. If somebody starts making three cents an hour more than them, they're like, I'm going to cut their brake lines and watch them careen into the gorge, metaphorically speaking. We don't need that kind of energy. I'm 31st, you're 30th, you're 32nd. We can form a block and have disproportionate influence if we cooperate with one another to the detriment of the bourgeoisie above us. We can collude to even the odds with the landed class if only we would stop being turned against one another and sniping petty insults. Hey, I've got an opportunity for you. Just kidding. I had painted the entrance to a cave on a canvas and laid it in front of a mountain so when you thought you could pass through safely, actually you hit your head on the rocks. Does this sound like a society? Founded on good ideals. Meep meep, says the roadrunner. And yet the coyote is the one who pays the price. Bottoms up, and the devil laughs. See, like, I'm not even sweating Whirly Gig. This is round two Whirly Gig. As as hard as it's ever gonna get. We got the spiciest lobby of all time. People are fighting for every inch of ground they can get. Like, this pigeon right here, you can't feel it because you don't have force feedback. He's like, you're not getting in front of me. Bro, we're in, like, 15th. Just chill. And also, maybe learn how to get through that without uh, slipping. Okay, tomato, you go first. Okay, that, that one was on me. That was no good. That was no good. I will tell you, in theory, we could not qualify on Whirly Gig. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh my god, he just didn't jump. I don't think it's gonna happen. But it is within the realm. It's 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 gonna happen. No, you know how this goes. Oh my god, it's actually gonna happen. <laughs> get me get me out. I can't take my lumps. I can't take my lumps. Go, 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 RQ, RQ! I, I gotta I gotta do something about this comedic timing module. So I'm like I never lose fall ball, loses fall ball. I never win jump showdown, wins jump showdown. I never lose whirly gig, fails to qualify on whirly gig after spending the whole time qualify or talking about how easy it is to qualify. <laughs> I don't know. I got panicked, dude. I did I did the classic thing you should not do on fall guys obstacle courses, which is like I'm nervous, so I'm gonna try to you know cut a third of a second here a half second here you should do that when you're in second because you can get to first that way if you're behind literally oh i mean if you're way behind you got to do something but if you're just a little behind don't do what i did just wait for somebody else to make a mistake the average fall guys player can't focus for more than i would say 2.1 seconds at any given time you can watch even on hexagon you'll watch people like land on a tile and then just stand still and fall like three layers what was I supposed to do? I got a text. Anyway, I shouldn't be looking down at the Fall Guys community considering that Whirly Gig performance. <laughs> I would a, a, a victory is actually less rare than a, a Whirly Gig collapse like that. So this is this is one heck of an outlier. Malcolm Gladwell is gonna be he's gonna be knocking on my door. All right, dizzy heights. This this is usually top ten status. I got an okay at this one. I'm I'm pretty good at diving. <laughs> That's not so bad. Hey, you just sneak through here. You don't always have to dive. Okay, we probably should have dove. Um, I don't. Generally speaking, I don't see a lot of people getting creamed by these things. If they do get creamed, they don't tend to fall down in my experience. Okay, well. Am I am I just baiting my comedic timing? Perhaps a little. Perhaps there's a little bit of that. You know what? I tried to grab him. Something about the pirate skins. I think it's like I have built-in aggression from when Dan would wear the pirate skin. And then on fruit shoot, he would be like... He didn't even try to remember the fruits. He would just 
follow me. And when I told him to remember fruits, he said, I don't want to do that, I just want to win. And I was like, it'll help me if we, if you remember some of the fruits, then it'll help me win. And he is just like, I don't know, do you want to win or not? Dan is, uh, he's a character. He's, he's got, he has a good character, for one. Like, I think he's got strong, you know, ethics and morals. But I do also think that if you ever want to convince Dan of something, you should really just use reverse psychology. It seems like that he would fall victim to that quite easily. Because if you ever tell him to do something, his first answer is always no. <laughs> and then his second answer is uh, to suggest you're being unreasonable for even asking. So I think what you should do is be like, you know, Dan, you would never buy a Ferrari Testarossa. It's too powerful for you. Traveler. Driver. My automobiles are fit for a Formula One champion. Not a... Not a commuter like you, such as yourself. Mr. Enzo. I need your strongest Ferrari. Okay, look at this, look at this. Let's send them. Let's, oh, they, they, didn't want to, they didn't want the smoke. Who wants the smoke? U unicorn, unicorn, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm with you, I'm with you. Let's get this guy, let's get this guy. Yeah, yeah, grab him, grab him. Grab him, dude, grab him, stripes. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. We're okay, don't panic. Bro, grab stripes. I'm mad. Um, banana, apple, watermelon, cherry. That's the easiest thing of all time. Are we grabbing, dude? Are we grabbing or are we grabbing? Let's grab. Let's grab. Let's grab. Let's grab. Banana, apple, watermelon, cherry. Let's grab. Let's grab. Let's grab let's, grab let's, let's frick with him, dude. Why are you so boring? Okay, so it's cherry. I just wanted to screw him up. Oh, that's the new meta. The new meta is you don't grab them, or you, you don't just bait them, you grab them on a tile when they're trying to bait, and then it's all over. Apple, cherry, grape. Apple, cherry, grape, orange, banana. Okay, we're lucky. Yep, why don't you just chill here, buddy? Just kidding. <laughs> we didn't get anyone, that's okay. That was a good performance. We, we took out someone who took out someone. Which for me is like... That's a second derivative of cool. It's good eats. Mmm! -mm. So good and tasty. Okay, 35 remain. As, honestly, I would be stunned if this is not Slime Climb. I would also, I mean, it could be a 12, 12, 11 hoopsie or something. It's a perfect slime climb attempt. Because you, like, probably two thirds of the lobby gets eliminated. Maybe you got 12 or 13 people left. It's a great situation. You could put them in the finals or you could give them a spicy tiptoe or uh, even a tail tag or something, even though I wouldn't want it. Rollout, on the other hand, 14 are going to get it eliminated. So. Which means 21 people are going to be left, which means a 777 egg scramble into... Oh no. <laughs> into a 14 person fall mountain or something. Okay, we, we need to get on the little chungus. Get on the little chungus and the big chungus takes care of itself. I know, I, I don't, the thing is you can't force it. You gotta kind of like let it happen ambiently. Otherwise, you, you get yourself into trouble as well. The chungus. <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to think of some words. Okay, like here, this is a great spot. Then if anybody has the audacity to come this way... You, you ignore them completely. You ignore them completely. We got a chungus. Not a good chungus for us. That's a, that's a bad chungus. Okay, what about that? This is a great... Jungus, just let me on. Okay, you're doing fine. Okay, the, they're moving too fast. We could always just focus on survival. Where's the fun in that, though? It's, it's a perfect Chungus, but I missed it. I missed the Chungus, and then we're gonna send you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> this is a spicy lobby. I don't like to hear the song in the lobby. That guy, I can tell he's got his arms out. 
He's very mad at me. When people get desperate, the arms come out. See you later. I've, I've raised my chances of survival by getting an elimination. He, he's too heavy. He won't go. I could just feel it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I could just feel it. Somebody's got to, you know, be the reaper that is not feared. No, the wind, no, the sun, and the rain. We could be back there. What do you think about slime climb? What do you think about no tail tag? I would give me fruit shoot. Give me tiptoe. Give me a rock and roll. Fruit shoot's fine. If we get eliminated, we get eliminated. Fruit shoot is fine regardless, though. Are we starting near the front? I do not believe so. I do not believe so. Front is pretty important on fruit shoot. Gives you a chance to get set up before the first pieces fall. Honestly, left side looks okay. I'm just chilling for a second. There we go. I think we got a decent lead. Oh, it was a direct hit. Two direct hits. We're screwed. It's over. It's over. We're going right side now. Gym teacher, get the frick out of my way. Okay, we got it. We don't have to go center. But we have to, like, go center-ish to try to get some extra speed. I saw a good idea for Fruit Shoot, in my opinion. Which was to make the center slightly less bad on the treadmill. Like, slightly less resistance. We may actually qualify, which is stunning. Um, and the idea behind that, we are going to qualify in 11th. <laughs> the idea behind that is, right now, why would you ever go in the middle? You got no protection. What if they made the middle... Um, not as, like, it doesn't pull you back as far, or as fast. And then, there's a reason to go. And also a chance to catch up, which we got lucky to even be able to do there. So, honestly, you know my dream is a 6v6 fall ball redemption. But I think we're going to get a 12-person jump showdown or a 12-person X. If we got two jump showdown wins in the same episode, I wouldn't know what to say. I would be over the moon. If you told me I... Also lost Whirly in that episode, I would say to you, this is not possible. This is not a thing that happens. These are two fictions. But I'll tell you, if you were like, hey, you gotta lose Whirly to get the video where you win in Jump Showdown, I'd be like, a fair trade, a soul for a soul. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? I, I never know what you're doing. You wanna just get yeeted? Okay, then act like you belong, okay? I thought there was a chance. I'm, I'm just making enemies. That's not good diplomacy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind looking for people that are like a little close to the edge and then, then helping them. We're okay. Okay, what happened there? You know what? I want to be up front. Alright, there we go. No seams. Oh, no, I want to be at the back. Oh, 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 I thought we were going to lose some there. We got lucky. We got lucky. This one, uh, we want to be up in front. Good stuff. Some people could get tripped there. This is this is a nightmare, by the way. You don't really want to be here. Just because, obviously, like, when other people get hit, if we don't get hit first, we're going off. They could bump into us. Even if they don't kill us, we'll get the get the dang jelly legs. You know how she goes. This is still I'm I'm very anxious right now. I think we're fine. Still fine. Should should be more apt to move to the front. Please uh stay away from me. We're going to hit each other in the air. It's going to cause problems. Why are you standing on the seam, you guys? You're going to get in trouble. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, he's grabbing. He's grabbing. I'm dead. I'm stupid. Oh, well. <laughs> I was focused on the grabber instead of jumping. Anyway. Someone's got a grab. I, I respect the grabber there. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe and keep me in your thoughts as I'm going through paternity leave right now. Appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching. See ya!